so we are discussing the design aspect or design concepts in software engineering because design is so important that is we are taking different chapters of uh, placement sir this uh, is about the user interface design so we have talked about the architectural design component level design now we are discussing the user interface this is uh, very important because this is the the interface or this is how you are uh, customer or the the stakeholders are going to interact with your system or a software so interface design first uh, it needs to be understood that interface should be easy to learn easy to use and easy to understand there are typical design errors that you will uh, you may you know encounter and why we are worried about this because this will make in the initial level only the user think otherwise of the software there can be lack of uh, consistency he need to memorize so many things there is no guide or help the context or sensitivity is not there the response is very low or poor response and it is very unfriendly so there are golden rules you need to follow first you have to place the user in the in the control not yourself you may be very good in programming or you have learned you know, then all those btx mtx and etc but the user can be anybody you have to place him on the control and reduce the user's memory load don't let him uh, or force him to memorize many things and then make your interface consistent here something else there something different will not do and what about placing the user in control let me explain it for you first you have to define the interaction modes in such a way that you are not forcing the user for certain unnecessary or undesired actions you are providing flexible interaction and you are allowing user interaction to be uninterruptible and undoable and then you need to streamline interaction as skill level advances and it allows interaction to be customized and you need to hide all the technical internals that is you are aware from the casual users or the naive users and you have to design the direct interaction with objects that would appear on the screen like icon types you need to reduce the user's memory load the user is not there to memorize things just for your software let him be uh, in such a working working condition or working scenario that everything is intuitive so reduce demand on short uh, term memory try to use meaningful defaults define shortcuts that are intuitive the visual layout of the interface should be based on real world metaphor not some you know biological world and dispose information in a step by step progressive fashion not at once making your interface consistent the interface should present and acquire information in a consistent fashion what is this consistent consistent fashion this will imply that all visual information is organized according to the design rules that are maintained throughout all screen displays everywhere the same the input input mechanism they are constrained to a limit set that is used consistently through the application everywhere same the navigation mechanism from different task they are consistently defined and implemented so mandel he defined the set of design principle and that helped and that will help us to make the interface consistent first he said that allow the user to put the current task into meaningful context he said maintain consistency across family of application and also if past interactive models have created user expectations do not make change unless they are compelling reason to do so may keep it like that user interface design models we have various uh, models it can be user model design model mental model and implementation model so these all reflect the user interface design model user model means the profile of all end user of the system what there can be advanced user there can be naive users the design model is the design realization of the user model this one and the mental model is the perception or the perception of the system so what user has the image mentally what he the image he gains of what the interface is and then finally the implementation model the look and feel of the interface coupled with the supporting information that describes the interface syntax and semantics wherever required this is the user interface design process first uh, this uh, you know it, it is iterative basically so iterative analysis and modeling is done then we design then we construct and then we validate the interface so interface analysis means understanding it tells you about the understanding analyzing and understanding the people or the end user or your customer will interact with the system through certain interface and the task that end user must perform to do their work and the content that is presented as a part of the interface and the environment in which this task will be conducted this is interface analysis what about user analysis there are questions which are uh, being placed by various giants in software engineering uh, that will help us to better understand the user of the system first of all 
are the user trained professionals technician clerical or manufacturing workers what is the level of education in, in every sense of the of the um, person who are going to use them are the user capable of learning the written materials or they would require some classroom training are they well versed with the typing or the keyboard they can they can type in fast what is the age range what is the gender what are user compensated for the work they are going to perform are they doing any normal work or after that or before that are they using software occasionally or they will be this software will be the integral part of their life of, of course the official life what is the language they they are speaking and the consequence if user is going to make some certain mistake are user expert in subject matter which is addressed by the user interface of the system and do user want to know about the technology which, which is actually behind the interface then comes after analysis the task analysis and modeling the idea or the aim of goal analysis is to address these questions what work will the user perform in certain specific circumstances and what task and sub task will be performed as the user does the work what specific problem domain objects will be uh, will the user manipulate as work is performed and what is the sequence of work task that is the workflow and what is the hierarchy of the task and to address these questions many techniques are been placed and uh, uh, for example these techniques they are applied to the user interface we'll see first case is use cases that will define the basic interaction the task elaboration it will refine the interactive task object elaboration it will identify the interface objects or classes and workflow analysis this will define how a work process is completed and several people are involved and the roles they perform we'll again visit this swim lane diagram for example for a specific uh, uh say scenario a patient has to handle these things a pharmacist these things and physician these things in no case uh, you would expect that the physician is going to deal with all of these situ situations or the pharmacy will uh, take the uh, position of the physician so the simlen diagram shows what user interface is to be given to different people different users then the display content what is the analysis of display content and in this uh, in interface analysis step the format and aesthetics what how the look and feel is uh, they are considered and again we have certain questions first of all are different types of data assigned to consistent geographic location on the screen that is the photo always appear on the on the upper upper right side or level lower left side uh, can you say customize the screen location is proper on screen identification or assign if the report is large how to partition them to understand easily and Uh, will a mechanism be available to put directly or summary information to the large collection of objects is some statistical information uh, can be presented will graphical output is scale fit to display device either the mobile or the you know workstation with say 15 uh, 50 size of your display device and uh, 15 inches so how will color you know the colors are very important will enhance the understanding you cannot use uh, green for stop and uh, red for start how will error messages and warning be presented to the user in what format uh, is it derogatory or is it just subtle interface designing step and uh, many user uh, different user interface design model they have been proposed but the interface design step they they propose they are uh, almost same that is using information developed during the interface analysis we define the interface objects and action that is the operations and we define events that is the user interaction that will uh, lead us or cause the state Uh, to the user interface to change and we model this behavior we depict each interface state and it will actually look how and um, in with what sense to the end user and we indicate how the user will interpret the state of the system from information provided through the interface so there are various design issue when we are talking about user interface design patterns design patterns the design, design issue should be the response time the help facility the error handling the menu and command labeling the application accessibility and the internationalization then we come to the web app web application web application interface design dix argued that you should design a web app interface so that it may answer three primary questions first is where am i what can i do now where have i been where am i going so where am i means it should provide an indication of the what uh, of the web app that has been accessed and inform the user of her location in the content hierarchy because web app is totally navigation based how can i do now what can i do now what functions are available to me what links are live what content is relevant to me where have i been where am i going means means facilitation of the navigation that we need to provide a map of where the user has been and what paths may be taken to move somewhere else of strategic or importance to the user in the web app 
what can be the effective web app interfaces now bruce suggested that what can be the best or effective web app interfaces he says that effective interfaces are visually apparent and forgiving and instilling uh, to their users a sense of control and user may quickly and in no time see the breadth of their options grasp or understand uh, how to achieve their goals and do their work perform their work and the effective interface do not concern with the user with the inner working of the system why why a user has to worry about what is going inside work is carefully and continuously saved with full option for user to undo any activity at any point of time then effective applications and services they perform maximum of work that is the like requiring just user what he needs to know minimum of information from users interface design principle again uh, talk nosy so in order to design a web app interface that exhibit uh, these characteristics which we have just seen talk nosy identified certain overriding design principles he said anticipation communication consistency control autonomy and efficiency in anticipation means the web app should be designed because uh, you, this is navigation based so users sh should anticipate what is going to go next the communication means the interface should communicate the status of any activity initiated by the user and consistency means consistency means the navigation control menus icons and aesthetics should be you know uh, consistent everywhere what about the controlled autonomy the interface should facilitate user movement throughout the web app but it should do in such a manner that we enforce navigation conventions that has been applied uh, established or applied for the application then comes the efficiency the design of the web app and its interface should optimize the user's work efficiency not the you know users of, of the web engineer who design or build it or say or the client server environment that executes it and the next come is focus the web app interface and also the content should stay focused on the user task at hand then comes the fits law the time to acquire a target is a function of the distance to and the size of the target fits law it applies here the human interface objects there should be a vast library of reusable human interface object that has been developed by web apps you can use it latency reduction because web app is multitasking so the operation needs to be complete complete without any latency actually acknowledged or seen by the user learnability means a web app interface should be designed to minimize learning time and once learned he should remember it when he is coming again we revisiting again then maintaining the work product integrity the work product that is for example a form which is completed by the user as per user specified things must be automatically saved you know if some error occurs he must not be forced to write and enter everything again and again then the readability all information presented through the interface should be readable by young and old everyone the track state when appropriate the state of the user interaction should be tracked and stored so that user can log off and later can return uh, pick up where she left or he left off because the session should be tracked the navigation should be visible a well designed web app interface will provide the illusion that users are in the same place and that the work brought to them then again nielsen and wagner in interface design they suggested few pragmatic interface design guidelines you know uh, that provide nice complement to the to earlier uh, section what we have just seen these are the principles which are suggested so read reading speed on a computer monitor is approximately 25% slower than the reading uh, speed of the hard copy so do not force the user to read you know bulky text particularly when the text explain the operation of the web app or assist in navigation avoid under construction side you know under construction like this it will disappoint the user user prefer not to scroll he will never prefer important information should be placed on the dimension of the typical browser window the navigation menus and the head bar should be designed consistently and should be available in all the page so that he may navigate every now and then aesthetics should be should never functionality uh, overpower the functionality for example a simple button might be better navigation option than aesthetically pleasing but vague image you can't able to you are not able to understand which is unclear navigation option should be obvious means in the event of say some new user the user should not have to search the screen to determine how to link the other contents or services then we come to the interface design workflow we have certain uh, you know rudimentary workflow for web app interface design let us see. let us know it first first you have to review information contained in the analysis model and we refine as required we develop a rough sketch for the web app interface layout we map user objectives into specific inter interface actions and we define a set of user tasks that are associated with each action then the storyboard screen images for each interface action is taken up and we refine the interface layout and storyboard using input from the aesthetic design this is how we map user objectives these are different objectives we list our user objective and then one by one we place it then say this is our menu bar major function then we add likewise in the interface design workflow we identify user interface objects that are required to implement the interface 
Then we try to develop a procedural implementation of the user interaction with the interface. Then we develop a behavioral representation of the interface. Then we describe the interface layout of each state and then verify and review because review is always important for the interface design model also. Then comes the aesthetic design, the look and feel. Don't be afraid of the white spaces, emphasize the content. Organize your layout element from top left to bottom right. Okay. Group navigation, content and function geographically within the page and don't extend your real estate with the scrolling bar. Consider resolution browser window image when designing layout. So make a responsive website or the web app. How to evaluate the design in user interface terms? If a design model of the interface has been created, the number of evaluation criteria that can be applied. You know, first is the length and complexity of the requirement model or written specification of the system. And its interface provide an indication of the amount of learning required by the user of this system. Then the number of user tasks specified and every number of actions per task provide again an indication of interaction time and the overall efficiency of the system. The number of action tasks and system states, these are indicated by the design model. These will imply the memory load on user of the system. And then interface style, health facilities, error handling protocol, they will provide a general indication of the complexity of the interface and the degree to which it will be accepted by the user. This is how design of evaluation uh, cycle goes. First, we make a preliminary design, then we build prototype one interface, then user evaluate interface, then we evaluate uh, evaluation is studied by the designer, and then again design modifications are made, then we build a prototype number uh, next, then it is again evaluated by user, and then designer evaluate it. If it is okay, interface design is complete, otherwise it will be done again and again. So this was about user interface design. Specifically, we have talked about web app because at that point it is very important because web app the user interface will change again and again. So thank you so much. This was about user interface design. We'll be taking design more.